Hi, it's Wendy from Shiny Happy World. Happy September. Um, I guess the first thing I should do, because I know people are going to ask, I have a brace on my wrist, and that's because I heard it doing Taekwondo blocking somebody's kick. And I don't know how long I'm going to have to wear it. But I'm fine. Uh, I just have a brace on. But uh, the good news is I've got some stuff done. I didn't get as much made this month as I wanted to because of the injury. Um, but I do have the new Ami Club pattern, and I think you guys are really going to like her. This is Flit the Fairy, and she is super fun to make. So she has, um, she's her body, her legs are crocheted together, her arms are crocheted in, her hair has this neat little scallop detail to give her kind of curls around the edge of her hair. And if you look at her wings, they also have some scallops around the back. So in addition to the new pattern this month, um, there's also a new video tutorial showing how to do that scallop stitch. So the video tutorial is online now, and the pattern is live in Ami Club. So if you're a member of Ami Club, you can go and download that now. And if you're not a member of Ami Club and you join, you get the pattern right away. And if you just want to wait a little while, uh, this pattern will be in the shop sometime. It'll be in Ami Club all of September, and it'll be in the shop sometime probably around the middle of October for people who want to buy it just as its own pattern instead of being in the club. But that is the new pattern and she's super cute and really easy to make. Uh, I wanted to make her in a couple of different, I had the idea to make a whole rainbow of fairies uh, in every color, but I was uh, not able to do that. So we have one fancy green fairy with pretty green wings and I can't wait to see the versions that you guys make. I think that this is going to be a really fun pattern to make with specialty yarns. I think some uh, eyelash yarn would be cute if you wanted to give her fuzzy hair. I think some sparkly yarn would be great for a fairy, um, especially for the wings. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with this pattern because I think you're going to do some really fun things for her. So Flit the Fairy pattern is available now. Um, Let's see, we've got another uh, couple of things that did get released this last month, since the last time we spoke. One is the new Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club is out, and that is the turtle that you can see behind me. You can see the pink turtle, and you can see the green turtle up there. And um, I'm gonna put in this space uh, a few more of the other turtle variations, and I'll show those other ones a little bit bigger so you can see them in more detail. But those are the new patterns for the uh, Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club, and that's going to be the pattern that's available until September 15th when they're going to be replaced with a new pattern that um, hopefully I'll be able to make. Um, I, I'm sure I'll be able to do some sewing with this. Um, the other new pattern that came out this month, so at, at one point in August, I did a survey to everybody who is signed up for the newsletter and ask them which uh, patterns I should release, which individual blocks from my quilt patterns I should release as individual patterns. Basically, I asked everybody to vote for their favorite block in all of my different quilt patterns because as I mentioned last month, I'm gonna be releasing some of these as standalone patterns because I'm doing more things. There are more um, support patterns at Shiny Happy World that you can use with a single block. And the first one that I released uh, was the one that was the biggest favorite. So of the on the Woodland Critters quilt, the favorite had almost half of the votes all went to one block, and that is the fox. And if you look down here by my shoulder, where is, no other side, over here, you can just barely see the fox. And I'll pop him up here as well so we can see a bigger version. But that fox pattern, is now available as a standalone pattern so that you can make individual things with it. Uh, you can make tote bags and pillows and you can add him to other patterns, uh, to other, um, other quilts where you mix him with other things. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. What I didn't get to is the Polaroid pattern. Nope, there's on this side that you can see that funny cow in the Polaroid print. I didn't quite get that made because the injury slowed me down. 
um, but I'm really hoping, I, I'll hear from my doctor this week how long I have to wear this, and I'm hoping that I'll get that done in the first couple of weeks of the month because I want people to be able to start making some Polaroid quilts because I think they're going to be just awesome. So that's one that has been delayed from August. I'm going to have to do that in September and I'm hoping I will get to do it soon because I just love the idea of it. Um, the other thing, let me look at my notes here. Um, last month I announced the Safari Craft Along and I forgot that we were still in the middle of the beach craft along. Sometimes I do my planning a ways ahead and I forget what month it actually is. So um, I misspoke and the safari craft along doesn't start until now. So we just announced, we are announcing this week the winners of the beach craft along. So now we're going to do the safari craft along and it's going to be just a one month craft along. And you can make any safari animal from any shiny happy world or fresh stitches pattern. So that's stuffed animals, embroidery, quilting, um, what else do I do? Oh, felt crafts and crochet. So all of those patterns, if it is basically an African animal, that will be included in the Safari Craft Along. So that is coming up this month. So if you have made any of these projects or you've got something in mind that you want to make, maybe you want to get some holiday crafting done early and this will give you an incentive to get it done by the end of the month, go ahead and get those made and post your photos to the Shiny Happy People group and we can't wait to see them. Um, with that in mind, I'm also the next standalone pattern that I release is going to be the favorite block from the Safari quilt pattern. And I'm not telling you what that is. It's going to be a surprise when it comes out. So Safari Craft Along is happening this month. And I think that is it. I'm trying not to plan too far ahead until I know what the status is going to be with my hand functioning. Oh, but speaking of hand injuries and wrist injuries, this is completely unrelated to the injury from working on the embroidery book, but it made me think of the embroidery book, and the release date for that has actually been pushed up. It was going to be coming out in December, and now it's going to be out at the end of October, and it is available now for sale on Amazon. It's the How to, Embroid How to Embroider Everything is the name of the book or how to embroider almost everything. I'll put a link to it in the, um, both in the description of this, if you're watching this video on YouTube, and if you're watching it at Shiny Happy World, it'll be in the blog post that goes with this. And if you decide to order it ahead of time, hang on to your receipt, your confirmation, um, because we're doing a little pre-order thing. The publisher is going to have an email address set up that you can send those receipts to, and you're going to get um, an extra page of designs that are not in the book. These are all completely new and different designs and I'm even going to show it to you. I'm going to, I don't have it in my hands, but I'm going to post it in the magic of video editing. I'm going to post it right here so you can see all of the, um, the extra motifs that you're going to get with that. I don't have a copy of the book yet to show you, but I will have it by next month's video. So I'm looking forward to showing you that. This is, I'm really excited about this book and I'm really proud of it. It has over 500 different motifs. So basically it is a book of stitch designs. It has a little bit of information about the basic stitches that I use over and over and over again. But for the most part, it is a book of tons, hundreds and hundreds of patterns. So uh, if you decide to go ahead and order that, save your receipt because you're gonna want that extra giveaway page, a whole additional page of designs. And I think that that is all the news here at Shiny Happy World this month. I hope you guys have a fabulous month. I hope you're getting some great fall weather, and I will see you in October. Bye.